what's poppin'? Today I'm doing my shoe collection. This has been very highly requested and I just wanna let you know that I'm not trying to brag about these shoes because me and my mom share the same exact shoe size. So that means we both have the same size foot. So we share each other's shoes. I have a lot of shoes. It's because my foot's done growing and obviously my mom's foot's done growing too. So um, I just wanna let you know. I hope you enjoy the video. I'm gonna be trying on the shoes for you guys, showing you the shoes. And I'm ordering another pair of shoes tonight. I'm becoming a really big sneakerhead. Okay guys, I'm gonna film here. We're gonna start out with the smallest part of, like the smallest piece of a shoe, which is like a sandal, to, all the way to the biggest part of a shoe, which is a big tall boot. So, you know, the things in between are sneakers, heels, things like that. So it's gonna be smallest to largest. So the first category we have is rubber flip flops. And these babies, there's a lot more like little small sandals that even are kind of like this, but they aren't like the rubber flip flop. So let's get started with these. We're gonna go through these quickly because this is the most boring part and they're the cheapest, weirdest, ugly part of shoes. So the first ones I have are my ugliest ones. These, these have been all over the world. I'm gonna tell you that all over the United States. I've taken them to every vacation. Victoria's Secret pink sandals. These are from Target. I love these. I always take them to the pool. Then I have these like wallflower brand shoes that came with a outfit. These pineapple flip-flops from Old Navy. And then here's like the more expensive ones. We have Coach flip-flops from Coach. They're very nice. I like them. And then my absolute favorite pair of flip-flops, which I actually did gym in these because I forgot my gym shoes one day. But they're my Kate Spade flip-flops and they're so cute. They have this little like, I don't know, they're so cute. Next category is slides. So we're gonna start with my favorite slides, which are these Nike slides. They're very cute. They're pink, my favorite color. And they have this like silver Nike. I personally really like them. Move on to these weird Under Armour ones I've had since I was like in fifth grade, but I still keep them because you never know. Kind of cool, you know? I don't know. Then we have fancier slides. These are one of my favorite pairs of slides. They are from Target. And they have this little like satin knot. Then these I don't recommend at all. They're from Target. They're from Universal Thread at Target. And they're so cute. Don't get me wrong with the little croquet. Like cro, I forget how you say it, crochet. And it gave me blisters all on my feet. And I only wore them like one day and it was so bad. But I like them for a cute Instagram picture, but I wouldn't recommend going out and about in them or else you're gonna get blisters. I don't even know what this next category is, but these shoes, yeah, they look terrible like this, but they like basically just tie up your whole entire leg and they like don't stay on my foot. They're too big, but I keep them because again, they're cute. And these are from Tilly's. These, these are really, really cute. They're from Kohl's. So cute, I like them a lot. They're just little sandals and they have rose gold detailing, very cute. And I have my Birkenstocks. Yeah, you got that nice footprint. Mmm, so yummy. I, I, I really like my Birkenstocks, highly recommend. Um, they're my Jesus sandals, very cute. These are just the classic brown ones. Yeah, I like them. I have these from Target, so cute. They're these little like thong sandals. I have like, just like one for your big toe. I hate my big toes, so they kind of stand out in these, but you know, it's yeah, they're cute. We're moving to like types of shoes like these and heels and wedges. Wedges, there we go. My mom has a lot of fancy heels in her closet, but I'm not gonna try them on because they're very fancy and nice. So we aren't gonna be wearing those, but we're gonna be doing these, which are mainly mine. So these are one of my favorites. Like I wear these all the time. They're these little white, like, I don't know what these are called. I don't know. But they have this little gold. They have gold detailing and they're just white and they cross around your ankle. I personally really love them and they give you a little bit of height and I'm really short. So any bit of height really helps me. Then I have these, which were my go-to last year. They're about in, two, is that, are they two inches? Probably two inches. Heel from Target. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot where I told you. These. These are from Reaction by Kenneth Cole. Very nice. And these are from Target. Um, these little lists, like, they're simple. I think you need to staple one of these in your wardrobe. If you don't have one, I'm very sorry for you, and I recommend going out to get them. These were only, like, 20 bucks, so go around your ankle. I really like them. These are one of my personal favorites. They are from Vince Camuto, and they have this, like, it's so pretty. I love wedges. Wedges are my favorite, if you didn't know, so I really want more wedges, but... Again, they have the gold detailing leather. Very nice. These are great materials. So nice. You know this is a good brand. And it's like very, it's just a cute wedge. Gives you some height. Now, my absolute favorite shoe ever are these. They're the most comfortable wedge in the world. They're so comfortable. They're from Liz Claiborne. And... These are the cutest little wedges in the world. I'm sorry if you don't like them, but I love them. They're so cute. I just love them. <laughs> they're so cute. I love them. Uh, yeah, they're my favorite. I wear them a lot. All right, now I have some two of my fancy heels that I wear at a fancy events. These ones are from Amazon because I didn't feel like spending a lot of money for shoes because I wanted a more expensive dress, but... They're from Dream Paris. They were like 20 bucks. So cute. Very, actually, really durable. You have a nice... I mean, it's not like hard, but it's nice. I, I like them. They're gold. They're cute. They're like a kitty heel, as people call them. And now here's my favorite heels. These are from Nordstrom. Look at the bling. Okay, I'm sorry. Shoes are like a piece of art. I'm turning into Amber Scholl. I love Amber Scholl. If she's ever watching this, hi, Amber Scholl. I love you. You're definitely not watching this because you have like 3 million subscribers, 1 million. I don't know, but it's amazing. I watch you every day. I love your hauls and collections and woo, I picked up shoes from you. You're my shoe inspiration. Anyway, look at the bling on these. They are so cute. The whole entire shoe is just covered in jewels, even the heel. It's the detail, you guys. These are beautiful they're very hard they were very expensive so i cherish these i've only worn them once but i hope i can wear them in the future there's like a little peep toe i love a nice peep toe oh my god i just love these and by the way guys i can fit in a size kids four all the way up to a size woman's seven and a half so my foot is very versatile so that means i can get any shoe like if it's on sale you know it's it's amazing i love myself okay um Moving on to the next category. Okay, so this category is my absolute favorite category. And you're probably wondering, what's the category? It's sneakers. Sneakers are my favorite category. I'm going to start off with some of the most basic sneakers. Black and white Nikes. You really just can't not have black and white Nikes. You you need these. I'm sorry. You need them. They're so basic. They're, they're amazing. I love them. I have three pairs of black and white Nikes. My one, I have I had them all from different years. I have the 2017 one, the 2018 one, and the 2019 one. These are the 2019 ones. And then my 2018 ones are at school. They're really cool. They have like a nice like back. It looks like jello kind of. And then my 2017 ones are downstairs in the wash because I just went on a hike with them. So... I'm just going to show you one pair of black and whites, obviously, because you get a point of a black and white sneaker. But I have two more pairs of those. And then the next pair I have, things I have, is black and white Adidas. You know, these were the huge trend, 2017, 2018. Needed it, caught me a pair, got them. Don't really wear them that much anymore, but I really do like them. They're very comf. And then I have the same exact ones, but with the rose gold, again, same thing. I really, like, I really, really do like them. They're fun. I have these white vans i managed to keep them decently clean never had to clean them i'm just amazing with my shoes um yeah but you know what those look like slip on vans another pair of vans are these blush vans i wear these quite frequently i think they're very fun they're the old school version i recommend them 
good thing about Vans is like they're pretty cheap too and you get a very nice sneaker for the price. Next up, I have my Converse. This is my first pair of Converse and they're a kid size four. No, it's a woman size four. So they're kind of like, it's kind of hard to get a woman size four, but I got them from a consignment store and they're like brand new material. Like, I mean, brand new looking, like these look brand new, just a little bit worn, which is nice. Cause I don't need to break them in. They were nine bucks. So I'm just like, ah, look how fun they are. I, I just can't pass those up. Sperry's, they're just like a gray Sperry and it has this leather like string. They're very nice. So I like them. They're fun. I, I get, I love shoes. Okay. Whew. Here's, an, oh, here's another black and white Nike, but it's white and black, you know, like we reverse the rolls or whatever. Um, these are the Okado sneaker. Um, never wore them, still have them. It's okay. It's okay. I'll wear you one day. A little tight, but maybe we can get some use into them. Kind of fun. Okay. They're like, they have this like, it's, they're, they're cool. I'm not even going to get you wrong. These are nice. The last pair of sneakers I have, as of now, I'm going to really, over the summer, buy a lot of sneakers so I go back to school with a lot of shoe options and I go back with some shoe game. But these are my favorite pair of sneakers. These are the Nike Air Max 97s that are my most expensive pair of sneakers too. Um, they are so detailed. They're just really 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 nice they're so comfortable they're so stylish i just really like them they're like this like blushy pink with white and i i don't know they're the best shoe ever i wear them a lot i love booties booties are so fun they're very nice for fall and fall basically fall they're amazing for fall and i even wore booties in winter sometimes but i'm gonna show you my shoes my booties so, we're going to start out with these booties. These ones are from Kohl's. They have a pretty high heel. They're kind of business casual. Tiny peep toe, which is amazing. I love them so much. Alright, there's like a store behind every shoe, but I'm going to give you a story about these particular shoes. So, one day I was going to school, like walking down my bus stop, and I was running late. I see the bus. Was I running late? No, I wasn't running late, but I, I knew the bus was coming because I got out late a little bit. Like, all right, I, I was running late. So I started to run. And in these heels, and I was wearing a skirt. And there was a big patch of gravel on the street that I didn't see. And I ran and they scuffed. You can see right here. It's and it went down and I went tumbling down. I dropped my phone. My phone didn't break because I had a good case on it, but it was my other, it was last year at this time. Last year at this time, yeah, exactly. And I still have the scar on my knee because um, what happened was I busted my knees up pretty good. They got very cut and I got rocks and pebbles stuck in my knees. So I had to go to the nurse as soon as I got to school because I made it onto the bus on time with bloody knees. Yeah, it was okay. Text my mom, she said to go to the nurse. So I went to the nurse and she was like, she had to like get tweezers and pick out the rocks that was stuck in my knee. It was terrible. Like I still have like scars on my knee, but I'm not gonna show you that because it's kind of gross. But yeah, these are memorable. I'm trying to think, what's the order? Next pair of booties is these ones that I got at a thrift, outdoor thrift shop, a local thrift shop. I got a lot of things from there. These were $3, super cute combat boots, and I don't know where they're from, but they're kind of really cute, so <laughs> I like them. They're good for fall. Perfect fall booty. Oh, no, these are a perfect fall booty. I'm sorry. Where'd the other one go? Where did the other one go? Oh, here it is. It was right in front of my face. These! I've been wanting a pair and I got them this fall. And they're so cute. Like, ah, I love them. They are the cutest thing ever. They look a lot better on, but like, look how cute these are. So cute. I love them. And then I have these classic biddies. These ones are from Carlos. It's a brand at Nordstrom. 
so you can cop yourself some of these at Nordstrom cute fun I, I I like them they're very this is a classic booty we also have this classic booty I don't know where they're from they have a little they're a little bit darker than this pair and this pair has little studs going all around it so cute I love the little studs even around the zipper and on the zipper like one right there they're very nice I like them and they're a little bit taller and a little bit different so I think it's nice to get things in different variations and these are a pink Chelsea boot from Forever 21 I got them on sale and they're a very comfortable fun Chelsea boot um I think everyone needs a Chelsea boot and these ones are pink so it's even better because it's my favorite color the last pair of booties are these very businessy booties I don't know where they're from, but I really do like the inside. It's like very intricate, intricate, and they're just a leather booty. The bottom, very nice. You can tell it's a good boot. It has this like detailed little snakeskin buckle. Kind of cool. Not even gonna lie, but they're not my style. They're my mom's. But you know, like in case I ever wanted to wear them, you know, they're here. Next category is real boots, and here we go. I'm gonna start off my least favorite pair. These ones are just weird black ones. I don't know. I they're from a long time ago, but I keep them because you never know when you might need these if you're going somewhere like snowy or something. I don't know. Then I got these Uggs. I love them so much. They're the classic brown with the Bailey bow, and these ones are just so comfortable. I wear them a lot in the winter. Um, winter and fall, these are perfect. They have two bows, very nice. These ones have their customizable, they're from UGG. I love the gold UGG sign. It has a customizable Bailey bow, and there's only one. So these ones are a little bit smaller, and they're pink, they're seashell pink. So I really like them. I've kept these ones in very nice condition. Um, I really like these. They're so fun. Um, these are another pair of Uggs that I got at a thrift store. And they were only $18. They look fun. They're huge on me. But, like, you know, you might need them one day. They're just some brown boots. Brown Uggs. Pretty tall. That's that. And if you're wondering what I put pool noodles in the boot. Like, cut pool noodles. That way the boots stand up straight and they don't sag. Hence what I did with these super tall boots. These are my favorite boots. Actually, why do I say everything's my favorite? But I absolutely love these. <clears throat> they are so tall, they go up to your thigh or knee. I forget. I haven't worn them since winter. But they're very, very tall. And they're very soft. And I, I love them! Oh, I love these boots. They're so fun. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I have all the shoes laid out in front of me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you did. And if you did, be sure to give a big thumbs up and also subscribe so you can see a lot of videos. I do ASMR, I do hauls, I do shopping videos, I do everything. I'm a multitasking queen or multi thing queen, you know? I'm really hyper in this video. But I love you guys more than anything. I want you to know that you're beautiful and that I love you and that you're you are wanted and you're amazing and you're stunning and you make me really happy so i love you guys peace